With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Welcome everyone. The question we have here is same spring is attached with 2 kg, 3 kg and 1 kg blocks in three different cases as shown in figure. So let X be the extension produced in a spring. Then we have to find the relation between the x1, x2 and x3. Extension producing the spring is due to the force acting on the spring which is equal to the tension on the string. So let's come to the case 1. Let us consider the left side block is moving downward with acceleration A. Hence the right side block moves upward with the same acceleration A. Let's consider the tension on the string V T. So here also it is T. And Force, gravitational force is acting downward in both the blocks which is mg okay so from the free body diagram of the left side block we get 2 into a equals 2 into g minus t and from the right side block we get 2 into a equal to t minus 2g adding both the equation we get for a equal to 0 which implies a equal to 0 putting the value of a in one of the two equation we get t equal to 2g so in case 2 let's consider the left side mass is moving downward with the acceleration a similarly the right side blocks moves upward with ex same acceleration a so from the free body diagram of left side mass we get 3a equal to 3g minus t and similarly for the left side mass 2a equal to t minus 2g. After solving we get 5a equal to g which implies a equal to g by 5. So after putting the value of a in one of the above equation we get t equal to 12 by 5g. Let's consider the case 3. Let us consider the right side mass moves downward with acceleration a similarly left side mass will move upward with acceleration a gravitational force mg tension t from the free body diagram of the left side mass we get a equal to t minus g from the free body diagram of the right side mass we get 2a equal to 2g minus t adding both the equation we get 3a equal to g that implies a equal to g by Putting the value of a in one of the above equation we get t equal to 4 by 3g. Force on the spring in case 1 is f equal to k into x1. Force is same as the tension on the string that becomes 2g equal to k x1. That becomes x1 equal to 2g divided by k. Similarly in case 2 we can have x2 equal to 12 by 5 g divided by k and in case 3 we have x3 equal to 4 by 3 g divided by k k is same in each case because spring is same comparing the values of x1 x2 and x3 we can say x2 is greater than x1 is greater than x3 this is the answer hence we can see our correct answer is option b thank you for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.